my name is Kenny Scharf, and um, the painting behind me is called When the Worlds Collide from 1984. When I painted the painting, I think the art world was definitely going through some changes. When I arrived in the late 70s, the scene in the galleries and what was going on seemed to me very serious. Me and my little group of cohorts kind of had the idea of rebelling, of course, when you're 19 years old, that's what you usually do. Um, one of the themes for us back then, which is still runs true for me today, is an art that is a, let's say, anti-elitist art, art that can not only relate to an art-educated person, but someone on the street. So this painting, uh, actually, I painted it in a, my very good friend Keith Herring's studio. I had no studio at the time, I don't remember why, and he was away and he lent me his studio. And that's why, if you see on the bottom right, there's a, a, my version of a Keith Haring baby on a little pedestal. And that's why my little thanks to him for letting me use his studio to do the painting. I made up a manifesto back in 81 where I define something that I, I think I made up the term pop surrealism. I kind of came to the conclusion that because of my very early bombardment by the media of saturation with, with advertisements and television and everything, that my subconscious was filled with pop imagery. I've had a long fascination with science fiction. The movies from that time usually stem from the fear of nuclear catastrophe, which is you know, the greatest threat of all. It's such an unfathomable, scary thing that I naturally think about things like that. This painting is kind of my idea of showing how everything can exist at the same time. There's peace, there's chaos, pretty much everything exists altogether. I always felt very strongly about having fun in creating art and also in conveying that sense of fun and including the viewer in on it. I was told by various teachers and even some students that art is not supposed to be fun. And I try to explain to them that I'm very serious about fun. And one thing that I always kind of felt strongly against is a kind of what I would call pretentiousness in art. And I don't want to be pretentious. I don't want to take myself too seriously, even though I am dead serious about art in general and about my making art, I don't, I want to keep that sense of fun and joy that I really believe not only applies to the art making but to life itself.